items and we're going to take a look at the Lydian mode. Okay, so we're going to take a look at probably my favorite mode, the Lydian mode. And it's um, it's got a really warm presence to it, but you can also get a lot of moody stuff out of it as well. And the formula for it is whole step, whole step, <clears throat> whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, and then half step. Which sounds complicated, it's really not. So we're going to do this out of A as usual. So you'll take your index finger and place it on the 5th fret of the low E string. Your first note. And then take your middle finger and put it on the 7th fret of the low E string. That's your first whole step. Pinky, put it on the 9th fret of the low E. That's your second whole step. Third whole step normally would be this note, but we can find it right there, which is the 6th fret on your A string, so we have okay. middle finger, then to create the half step goes on the 7th fret of the A string, then comes a whole step, which goes to the 9th fret of the A string, so 5, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9. Okay, and so then after that we have another whole step which is the 6th fret on the D string. And we conclude that with a half step, um, which is the 7th fret on the D string. So, 5th, so 7th, 9th, up to the A string, 6th fret, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9. And there's the A, that's the conclusive note, which is what we would normally end it on. But we can keep going using the same formula, the whole step, half step formula. So if we go to the ninth fret on the D string, first whole step, uh, then the sixth fret on the G string, it's our second whole step. Uh, eighth fret on the G string, it's our third whole step. Ninth fret on the G string, it's our half step. And then uh, it would be 7th fret on the B string, it's a whole step, to 9th fret on the B string, whole step, and then half step, but it's right here, 5th fret on the high E, so. Okay, so let's go all the way through it, I'll call out the frets from bottom to top, 5th fret, low E, 7th uh, fret. 9th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, D string, 6th fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, then 6th fret, 8th fret, 9th fret, then 7th fret, 9th fret, finally the 5th fret, which is your A. So. Relatively simple. Great mode to work with. To experiment with. I like to use a lot of inverted chords um, over that stuff. So like. Stuff like that. So work on that. Uh, yeah, again, tabs are at guitarticles.blogspot.com. It's a great mode, really. It's just a lot you can do with it. So have fun with that, and I'll see you next time.